different faces of different animals and put them on different faces. So you would have like a like a monkey's face here on a cheetah's body. I just <laughs> learned how to really select things really well. All are very excited for today's graphic designing series. Uh, let's um, uh, get to start over here. As we talk about graphic designing friends, uh, uh, let me tell you three crisp things which are absolutely visible onto your screen right now. Whenever we talk about graphic designing, oh my God, it's a, it's a lot of about effective visuals. That means all the kind of visuals that create an impact into the mind of people. And of course, not just the impact, long lasting memory impacts. That means something that you can really relate to. You can remember something in the longer time. And that also makes you sometimes buy also things uh, as far as the product market is concerned. Not only the product market friends, it is also about the artists, the designing and many other industries where graphic designing is a must nowadays. If you have never edited photos before, any standard photo editor is mostly going to have all of these different components, okay? So I want you to pay full attention. To what we're gonna be doing is new project. You see that star option right there? So you click on that and then you have a bunch of different templates to choose from that look amazing. Look at that, so many cool pictures. So you have the option to choose either of these filter, uh, these templates, or you can start with a blank screen. It all depends on how you want your final image to look like and what you're doing, right? Just pay attention to this part. Now, this part dictates what content you're making, right? Whether you're making an image that's supposed to be going on Instagram or something that's supposed to be a YouTube cover or like an advertisement, it all depends on what you're making, right? You have different formats for different things and they all have different specifications. Now, you see this uh, drop down option down here, right above the box. This lets you choose your background color. If you're going with a blank canvas, like a something completely starting from scratch, you can actually choose your background color right here in the, in the uh, selection screen. So now here is your list of, pardon my handwriting, but tools, okay? Um, in the center is your workspace. And on the top, you have a bunch of different options. So we're gonna get started with a couple of tools today. So these are our first drawing tools. Now, the first one on, on the top right here with a T, that's the text box and pretty self-explanatory, it, it lets you add text, right? So when you click on this and then you click on anywhere in the blank space and hold on to your click and drag it, it's gonna make a text box where your font's gonna be at, right? When you let go of the click, your box is done, then you click on this and then you can type, all right. Right here, look up here, you can actually change the font, the font size, the alignment, um, and the spacing of the text. Right here, if you right click, you see further options, but for now, just left click once, and this is the pen tool. Now, we're gonna be learning the pen tool in uh, the future sessions that we have, since it's a little, little complicated to learn. But what it basically does, it, it allows you to trace onto objects and make lines very accurately. I want you to uh, look at this rectangle right here. This is super easy. Um, you can just right click on this and it lets you pick a bunch of different options, um, uh, different shapes to choose from. So you have rectangle, eclipse, lines, um, parametric shapes and custom shapes. Pay attention to is these tools right here. Now, if you want to crop an image, you gotta click on this one right here. This is the crop tool. So if I click on this, I'm, I'm able to like crop the image out in a square shape or a rectangle, however I want it, four sides, right? Now, if I go to this select tool, I can actually select a particular part and then I can crop that, right? So you can actually put a bunch of different pictures together you go to the lasso. Lasso lets you select 
free form, so you got to use your mouse and be accurate with it. See how I'm tracing the animal right here? I'm going to pick the animal and delete the background and boom. Now, if I want to uh, delete the background, what we want is we go to select, we inverse the selection and then we delete. So now this is, I can like copy this onto another image mostly. So there's so much stuff you can do, but for now, I just want you to use what you understand so far. Okay, I've been talking about a lot of tools. I do not expect you to learn and memorize every single one on the first day. I just want you to experiment with some of the things that I have taught you, okay? Uh, yes, Rish? Will there be a fill option? I have to fill up a uh, thing. Um, yes, yes. So um, when you are trying to fill, here is the paint bucket tool. Okay, yeah. You see that? So you can actually yeah. uh, fill your color. Like, look at that, I just did. <laughs> So you can do a lot of cool stuff here. So you have this move tool. You have the cheetah selected. You cl uh, click on this. You click on the cheetah. You drag it. You move your mouse over to the tab. And look, I have my cheetah on that's, a new that's page. A, that's amazing. That's amazing. Isn't it, uh, friends? If you all will be able to do that, that would be super rocking. You know, when I was your age, I was learning Photoshop in school, like just by like watching YouTube tutorials and stuff. And what I used to do when uh, the uh, when we had like class assignments was to pick like uh, different faces of different animals and put them on different faces. So you would have like a like a monkey's face here on a cheetah's body. I just <laughs> learned how to really select things really well. So it just takes a bunch of practice, but I want you to get started with this. Um, now, you may be wondering if you, you, you cannot find templates or if you want more images, where do you find them? Well, there are, obviously you can Google, but Google is not really a good idea because Google can have a lot of copyright images and uh, it's not really good to use those. So if you want copyright free images, ideally, uh, you would head on over to uh, a website like pexels.com or um, pixabay.com. I'm sharing the links in the chat. One of the best parts of uh, this tool is the filters. So if you click on here and you check out, there's so many different things you can do to an image. Now, anything that you do and you wanna go back, you can always hit undo. It's in under the edit option or you can press Control Z, okay? Control Z or the uh, Mac button and Z uh, if you're on a Mac, right? Um, and uh, you can go step backwards, step forward. Um, and then if you go to file, you'll have a bunch of different options. So you can save this image, but if you wanna save it, make sure you go on to export and then choose an image format like JPG or PNG, which is the most standard formats for images. If you want to work on your uh, on your uh, assignment later, like or whatever you're working on in a project, and you want to save the layers, then you save it as uh, PSD. Remember that, so that all the layers get saved, and then you can come back, open the PSD on this website, and then edit it. But if you're done with the image, if it's final, you can actually export it as a JPEG, a JPEG or a PNG. Genesis has a question. I wants to know how do you write in different fonts? Um, so you go to the text option and let me just quickly show you both things. So when you go to this T right here, you make your text box first, or if you already have a text box, let's say I've written a bunch of colors. You go on to here, this top bar is going to let you change everything. You see this? You can, you, this is the font part. You can click on this and change the font. You can change the bold italics. You can put size onto here. You can change center align, right align. So all the options are right here. For any tool that you choose, the extra options related to that tool, whether it's the text tool or the brush or anything, eraser, all the extra options will show up right where my uh, markers are at currently. And don't worry too much about all the tools because I will be teaching you each and every single tool in the future sessions. So um, just try to 
remember what I talked about and see if you can make something from that. So friends, I wish everyone is trying their hands out onto this wonderful platform and great going graphic designing, uh, you know, exploration.